Hey guys, back again with another video. Today I want to do a quick unboxing and a brief, a brief review of one of the best optics mounts I think out there right now, the uh, Badger Ordnance Condition 1 mount. So let's get into it. This is actually the Big Tech's exclusive 1.7 height in clear anodized for a 30 millimeter tube. They've got these on their website right now. Uh, if you aren't buying parts from Big Tech's, I think you should. They've got pretty much what exactly what you need, and uh, they're always they're always working on restocking. So check them out. Okay, so open the box itself. You've got your instruction manual. Also tells you about a lot of the accessories that they're coming out with now, uh, which we'll get into a little bit. Um, generically, it gives you some. Reference points on on how to mount keeping equal distance, you know between on your ring caps and uh, Also installing all the accessories so good information there nice decal And here's what it looks like Also a really cool box with the uh, tiger strip. Anyway, it does come with the uh, Star key and then the mount itself So there you go uh Pretty neat color and clear anodized. They also have uh, FDE anodized and also black. And so first things, you know, like I said, this is the 1.7 height. So as far as I know, Badger is the only one to offer these right now. So a standard height mount, 1.54, is if you were buying a mount for a red dot, you know, we're talking about absolute co-witness with your iron sights 1.54 um, if you stepped up to a lower third which would put your iron sights in the lower third of your window of your red dot that's 1.7 and so historically nobody has offered optic scope mounts in a 1.7 height we've had not 1.93 for a while you know some guys really like it the difficulty with 193 is depending on your setup and especially your body type or your shooting style, um, spending a lot of time in prone with a super high mount is not comfortable, but obviously shooting off hand, running and gunning, it's, it is a little more comfortable because it does offer you that what we call a heads up, more heads up position, right? You're not having to crane your neck over so much to get uh, a good sight picture. So. Badger, you know, kind of splits the difference and, and gives you this 1.7 option. I really like it because if you do spend time doing both, you know, shooting prone uh, or shooting even from a bench, uh, you know, for groups and stuff when you're zeroing, it's not uncomfortable. And then you do get a little bit more of a heads up position uh, without going full blown 1.93. So I think it's a really great option. Uh, you can see on the base of the scope itself, it actually lists the torque values, which is really convenient. So even if you didn't have the instructions, it's pretty straightforward. Mount it. Uh, you know, I, I did buy a torque driver uh, a couple years ago, the Wheeler version, totally worth it. You don't have to guess. And then once you get this thing cranked down, you know, keeping everything equal distant, uh, on your scope caps, crank it down, witness mark, good to go. Um, the other thing is, obviously, it's it, it takes a half-inch drive uh, socket for these. You can tell, you know, 10 years ago, a quick detach mount was the way to go. Now, I mean, pretty much everybody, Geisley, Badger, uh, you know, Unity, nobody's mounts are QD anymore, and that's not really a bad thing, you know. Back then, we all said the same thing. If the optic goes down, I have to be able to get to my backup irons. You know, there's been a couple of guys uh, that have actually, you know, done things operationally that, that kind of said, you know, it, it really wasn't an issue, you know. And I'm just a regular guy, so there's really no need for me to have to ditch this thing uh, to get to some backups. I don't even run backups. I just don't it's just you know for me It's just it's just not really an issue. So again, this is a Schmidt and Bender 
dual CC one, one to eight in a uh, 1.7 height badge amount. I really like it. Here's the other thing that's really neat uh, about the Badger is you can see at the base, you've got these slots with two holes. These are for mounting uh, red dots. So here's how it works. They sell a piece, I don't have one with me, but it's called a J-arm. It actually fits in there. You secure it with those two screws. And then off of that J-arm, you mount any number of these bases that Badger sells. So, you know, this one is for an in-point acro and your J arm will attach to this base and then you mount the optic to that. And so what Badger has said is whatever height the scope mount is, when you mount that offset red dot, it is also going to be at that same height. So this is 1.7. When you roll that gun so that your red dot is perfectly flat, it's also going to be at 1.7. And so really neat option because you can you can do it on either side if you're right or left handed and you can also mount it forward which would put it you know where where guys would normally put it if you're going to mount it forward of your optic mount you would have it on the rail or if you choose the the rear slot you know it is kind of close to where you would mount it behind that but again it's all running off of the optic mount itself which is convenient because if you ever pull this off when you put it back on, uh, the return to zero is so good that you don't have to re-zero two optics, right? So, you know, like I said, I'll witness mark all the stuff, uh, especially these. And I can tell you from experience, I have removed this mount on more than one occasion for various reasons. And in my experience, the return to zero is, is at most one MOA, uh, if not less. Now, of course, again, I'm, I'm tightening these to the exact same torque spec since I witness marked them. So obviously that helps a lot, but again, super good return to zero. Um, I've had no issues with them from a durability standpoint, but you know, I haven't like thrown them, but again, I wouldn't worry about that stuff. So I think, you know, for the cost and, and some of the accessory options that you get, uh, to me, it's, it's the best mount out there. So let me know what you guys think. Drop a like in the comment. Uh, I'm going to continue to work on the mini recce series and a couple other things in the next few weeks. So stay tuned. Appreciate it.